the prestige. The disappearing man. Every day. Meet the Robinsons. All right, the prestige, the disappearing man, every day, meet the Robinsons, going back into time, but I'm pretty sure the time machine was a red pill that he had to swallow or something, and then he went back in time from that rooftop, and then took that trip down memory lane, and he couldn't, every day, you are a different person. Every day you die, every day you're born again. But you have to consciously know that. So in your memory, you are berating someone who doesn't exist anymore. When I'm thinking of memories of my past and... I am shouting down my memories. It's as if I'm looking through a tube of the past, of my timeline, and I'm saying, stop the, stop the reels. Like, um, a... And then I stop the movie frame, and I look at that, and I pull it up, and I say, look you you little and then it's like a holographic projector thing look here you little shit and i'm seeing a picture of me but look here you little shit pay attention don't do that or i'm not going to hear it back in my memory but me now i'm yelling at that kid even though Nothing has changed in the physical realities, but now that I'm telling that kid, I can hear through my memories of, oh yeah, and then this happened because of that stupid thing, and then this happened because I didn't remember that, and then all of this other bullshit in my life happened, and that's because, look here you dumbass, way back here is the reason that bad things happen, and now... You're over here, and okay, now you got it. How do we fix it from here? Because I can't go back in time, but I can look back in time to see where the problem is, and then tie it off where it needs to be. But I can't go back, I can only go forward. So, an appointment in the future with myself, knowing that when everything gets fucked up around the corner, I'm like, all right, and three months i need to do this this and this plan everything together so that one two three boxes pop up at the same time so that the great caper through time i plan boxes ahead of time well that's called planning everybody does that they go to school so that in 18 years they're preparing for the thing or they learn how to saw a board so that when the next plan is they learn how to build that house so that when they learn how to build a house, they teach other people how to do it and then they build a house for nine other people because they're only helping other people build that house because the other people who are doing that built nine other houses before them so they have learned how to. So by the time that you get there, that's a level achieved and now you are an expert at building houses so that you can build your own house and then that's part of the plan of the future that you told yourself so that you can plan for the head building a time paradox for yourself but you have to plan this section and then have to plan this section and have to plan this section ahead and then that way when you continue down your life you have built these pillars into secret rooms of life like i have knowledge and then i have experience then i have emotional instability that you know is fucked up that you know you have to fix so by the time that you have money power and ability that you're able to take all that together and say now the fuck what all right i'm going to take these two that i've used properly and that one that i fucked up okay i can't use that one now i can only use these two but this is in 10 years where i'm going to fuck it up because back here i didn't tell myself what the fuck to do i know it but i can't fix it because i'm not that smart <laughs> Mm.
yeah, I, I know, I just said that. My cat's like, what? Okay, that's enough looking through the, um, through the timeline, the tube. I'm looking at, like, a test tube or something like that, like, a movie projector. It turns into, from a projector of my mind, and then out my eyes, but a film, like, opaqueness, that came through, and then tunnel vision, but tunnel is made up of the projector that turns into just lines that morphs into just moments in the timeline that are three-dimensional like holographic images. Yeah, and then it just kind of a dark glass of water and you can only see a little bit at a time when you're paying attention. And you know that your time is flowing through. Okay, right now, for some reason, I got that as childhood and up here is current. Like back in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's this way. Sometimes I can see it this way. Sometimes it... The direction is weird when I think of it. But it's always linear. It's like, oh, remember back in the past? Who does that? Oh, way over there. No, it doesn't. Your, your timeline never curves. I was like, oh, remember back when? What kind of timeline is that? It's like, I remember doing this, but then I took that out and remembered over there. And I'm going to take that, put it over to the side, and then I'm going to put this together, put that together, and then put that back together. And what did you just do? Well, I forgot that memory of a bad thing happening and something got taken away from me because of a stupid... Okay, go away. No, this is not Inside Out. It's not quite right, but for a kid's movie, it's, it's not bad. It makes it easier to explain certain processes of the mind. Better, just... Kind of like explaining the mathematics of gravity... If you can explain one plus one, then you're a lot closer than saying, Err. It's like, we're getting better. It's like, but now we have a lot of people on the planet, and a lot of people getting a little bit better. A lot of people getting a little bit worse. And a lot of people think, I'm popular, I'm important, I want me to hear me. Me to hear me? <laughs> sure. Okay, no, that's going to reverberate in my head and I'm not going to think anymore. Need to hear me. Okay, that's it.